Do not ascend the tower. You are not meant to go there. Your purpose lies in the Garden of Worlds. I haven't heard that dialogue before. Uh, hey guys, I'm LB. And, uh, I was just heading back to, uh... Oh no, wait, where was it? A. Because there's a paint bucket that I want to use. And we haven't used it. And then we are going to see the third ending with, uh... By using the gray sigils. But yeah, I have not heard that dialogue from Elohim before. Interesting. We are nowhere near done with this game, by the way. There is still so much more to this game. Like, you would not believe. Okay, so. We want to go over here. This is the one with the axe and where we chopped everything down. Okay, so. What we want to do... Here it is. Now... Where do we want to paint the message? Good question. Oh, right, right, I remember now. I wanna go paint it next to whatever this mirror is. Let's see, Elohim lied about the tower, I stepped foot inside and returned to tell the tale. <laughs> the truth is hidden in the words, but it's up to you to find it, read, think. Uh... I have heard all the lady in the light had to say, I can't help but feel we have lost so much more than we have retained. Um... <laughs> yeah, this is the one that I want to write. <laughs> Don't bother going any further, I'm way ahead of you already. Because I feel like a lot of people would, uh, would go to the, the A star secret first. <laughs> yep, okay. Alright, let's get out of here. And now, we are going to go solve the, uh, the puzzle for floor 6 of the tower. The gray sigil puzzle. And hopefully, now that my mind is clear and it's a, it's a new day, I will actually be able to do it without getting stuck and having to come back to it later. But I saw a video on the making of the Talos Principle, and it's, it's, it's really cool. This game really does have a lot to it. It's a really good game. I highly recommend it. In case you haven't already watched every single episode where I've said I highly recommend it. Okay, let's go to the tower. Could you imagine going all the way from 5 to 6? Five's way up there and 6 is way down here. It's further than going from 5 to 1. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Right, these four guys, I hate them. These guys are the bane of my existence. Oh, I... how did I... I clicked outside the window. <laughs> that was a mistake. Right, right, and none of these... None of these are flipped, everything... Oh my gosh, let's look at this, so... These... these four are all in the same orientation. These four are all in the same orientation. And there's just this guy, which only has one orientation. It's kind of funny that this even lets you flip it at all, you know? <laughs> I never noticed that I could flip the squares, that's hilarious. Are you serious? It's that simple? <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe it's that simple. Look at that. That is... <laughs> oh wow. I spent so much time... And it's that simple. Oh wow. 
Okay. Interesting. So, this is supposedly a special ending according to Crow Team. It is now time to choose your epitaph. For your body shall be entombed, though you shall not die. Interesting. So, yeah, we're in one of the, the, the secret worlds where you get help from the messengers. I still haven't used any of my messengers at all. I've gotten all three messengers, but I haven't used them. What does it mean to choose my epitaph? I don't know what it means to choose my epitaph. What's an epitaph? I need to look up that word at some point, because <laughs> I don't remember what it is. Oh, I'll probably just choose something on the computer here. This will be your final resting place. Choose how you would be remembered by those who follow in your footsteps. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, right, right, I remember what an epitaph is now, yes. It's something you write about a person who's died. Oh, wow. I swear I won't be as obscure as the rest of them. <laughs> oh, wow. Epitaph? What? Wait a second! <laughs> Made the Hall of Fame eat it. Every single sigil, no beating that. What a waste of time this all was! <laughs> you have to provide your own answers, but I will help you to see them where I can. I give my life to serve others to bring about the greatest good I that I can. Um... I like this one. The purpose of life is to serve the generations to come. That's the one I agree with the most. Achievement unlocks blessed messenger. There is no greater love than to lay down your life for another. But your sacrifice is greater still. For instead of resting in eternity, you have chosen to serve all the generations to come. They shall strive for greatness, and through you, they shall accomplish it. For you are no longer a child. You are my messenger. all the endings. And unless there's a fourth ending or more that I don't know about, I'm pretty sure that's all three endings that we've seen so far. Oh yeah, and that, uh, that platform in, in, uh, C1, that, the one that you can click on that says use but doesn't do anything, apparently there's statue parts scattered around everywhere, and you can put together the statue of a character from the Serious Sam games. And, uh, yeah. So if you want to see that, just look it up on YouTube or whatever. I'm not going to be showing it in this- in this playthrough. But, we still need to play the DLC and also some of the community mid levels. So, that'll be what we do next, because I don't think there's anything else that I have to show in this game. Except maybe the solutions to the puzzles that I cheated on, for instance. We might go back and do some of those, but... I don't know. You could also just look it up on YouTube if you want. Though, I think I will so show a solution to Wush. People have said that Wush has multiple solutions, but the one that I saw... is a pretty obvious one. Oh, and also the, uh, the one across from it, uh... Eagle's Nest, that one. 
I'll, I'm gonna show that one as well. In this video. So stick around. After this, probably the same thing where I have to revert to my uh, my save from before. That's the one thing I don't like about this game is the save system. And, of course, being able to softlock the, the tower ending. <laughs> That's another thing I don't like. I'm gonna have to remember all this stuff for when I write my review on Steam. Okay, let's see, play, Talos Principle, yep, new game, so I have to restore once again... to this. Oh, it saved me here this time. Well, that's good. Oh, and this is open now, okay. Thank goodness, I have an actual save point that I want. That's good to know, okay. I appreciate that greatly. No longer do I have to continue doing this whole... Tower nonsense, uh, zero. So, let us go check out Whoosh and Eagle's Nest, and I will show the solutions to those, because those are puzzles that I could not figure out. My child, you may go freely to all the worlds of my garden, but if the tower tempts you, be wise. Do not let yourself be misled by doubt. It's interesting, I guess you're meant to go to the tower multiple times throughout the game, and Elohim is supposed to repeatedly talk to you whenever you leave, but... I guess... I've been jumping out of the tower, and skipping that dialogue entirely because I've been jumping out of the tower. <laughs> okay, I guess I've been skipping dialogue in this game, apparently. So let's see, those were in... 3, correct? I think so. Let's, let's check. Yes, okay. So let's go to Eagle's Nest first. Now this one I did kind of do the intended way, but not entirely. It's a lot easier than I was making it out to be. <laughs> Some people didn't know you could drop boxes in midair. Alright, so we've got our boxes in here. All you gotta do is put the boxes here, and then you jump on top and you block the laser. And then you just run up to the fan and take it off. <laughs> and that gets you the sigil. So yeah, that's that's Eagle's Nest, that's the intended solution. At least it seems like it's the intended solution. Pretty sure there's not another way to do it. Because the way I did it was very, very close to that, except I did it with one box instead of two. So now, let's go to Whoosh, and let's do this one. Let's see... Now, apparently there's multiple ways to do this. 
and... One, the way that I saw does not involve using either of these things, except for standing on them. Let's see... Put that there for now. And then we'll want to use this. Get that box. that there. And now we can actually jump on here, right? The point is that we block this laser, and, uh, we have fans put there and there that blow us over to there, so... I'm trying to remember how to set... To oh yeah, this is also how we get over here. Uh, that's how you do that. And that's how you would lift that guy up, that's the intended way to do that. Okay, things are making a lot more sense now. That's actually really obvious. <laughs> Oops, come on, attach there, and let's get this other one put in place, uh, here. And now let's actually try and do this. So you stand here, right, and this gets you high enough to jump on the boxes, so that you block the laser, and then you just go here, and it blows you in here fast enough to pick it up before the fan turns back on. Ta-da! Magic. Alright, let's go out this way. So... What we can do now... ...is show the intended solution to getting the star. So you put this here, right? And that lifts that up. And then we go to the other puzzle. And this one, I believe... And now that that is high enough, we can just do this pretty, uh, well we need the box I guess first. Right, 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 right. So we do this, get the box. Then we want to point at that, and this. Slightly over, like, uh, here. And I actually did this without lifting that up. It's- it's already high enough, just where it was before, to do this, but yeah, that's how you lower this and get the star that's in here. So, I'm trying to think, what was the other one? The other ones that we cheated on... I think the, the only other ones we cheated on were in C. So let's head there, and then next episode we'll work on those. Oh yeah! There's, um... There's a secret in, uh, the pyramid one. One of the- the, the one with the, the pyramid... The one with the giant moon. There's actually a laser thing on the moon that you can use for, uh, an easter egg about Portal 2. Just search YouTube for that, I'm not gonna show it. <laughs> okay. So the one where everything broke... Which one was that? Was that...? Um... Is that five? I don't remember now. No, no, it wasn't... I think it was five. Yes, yes, this one. Well, guys, thank you for watching, and as always, if you get to sound my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode, where we will solve these the intended way. 
Goodbye.